get you? Like, you mind? Huh? Like, you want to be famous, right? Yeah. It's Felix Morello. Uh, do you have that, like, 40 bad luck spots in the uh, Union Square area? All right. And, uh, I mean, you know it's not going to work. But I guess it's wishful thinking. I wish I had that power sometimes. What, what like, what kind of, like, evil possessed demon is gonna linger on to the human being that steps in that spot? Uh, I'm uh, kind of ambivalent about the whole thing, you know. I think I, I, I just hope for uh, some type of redemption or, uh, or uh, enlightenment. You know, let's say if your criminal has been like stealing from people, which is basically uh, putting out the hate, yeah. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> one day that person may realize that, you know, their actions and they, somehow they, you know, they, they change. But if not, I wish that person, for example, that is bringing out all that hate, yeah. somehow like falls down and like breaks a leg or some, something, something evil. So it's like there's like a balance of yin and yang, you know? I feel you. You know, because it's like, you know, uh, but it's basically this. That's real, man. It's basically uh, playing an idea of like superstition, you know, what's good luck and bad luck. You know, and uh, personally for me, it's like a way of like, I mean, New York is full of so many personalities and characters and there's always clashing, you know, clashing. Yeah. You know, let's say for example, some black people and white people, you know, like straight people don't like, like, gay people or yeah. the rich people don't like the poor people and it's like mutual hate so it's almost like like i mean i fall on the category of like being a like poor hispanic and sometimes like gate the hate sometimes i like give the hate it's more about like personally for me it's like a way of like uh, channeling that anger and putting it making this making it visible you know instead of like getting a gun or getting like some type of weapon and actually doing something but permanent yeah you know, where, where where i know that after the the heat of a moment is passed it's something that i will regret and something that my family will regret and will bring a lot of pain and sorrow to like my loved ones you know like family my mother my sisters my yeah. nephews and, and people friends that actually care for me you know so it's a way of uh keeping my own anger in check you know finding a way of uh it's like a poetry you know it's like, uh, uh, like exercising my my freedom of speech. You know, if I see something, some type of injustice, it's like this is how I put it. And so that's my two cents on that. All right, man. YouTube, YouTube. You, yeah, yo.